no matter what happens or how bad it seems today. Life does go on and it will be better tomorrow. One may ask why we do hope for a better tomorrow, although we know in our hearts the chances of the future being better or worse are almost equal. It's here that our positive thinking helps. If we start believing that since the days gone by were the worst days ever, tomorrow can only be better. Even if it's not better, it can't be as bad or at least will be better bit by bit. She goes by the name Oliver. She worked as a housemaid somewhere eight years ago. One early morning as she had reported to work as usual, something unusual was going to happen that would leave her lying on the bed for eight years. While she was mopping the floor, she slipped and fell down. Her backbone automatically broke into two. She could no longer move her whole body. Those whom she worked for never cared. All they did was sending her back home while she lived with the sister. Oliver was taken to hospitals. Hospitals treated the lady. But the whole treatment process required a lot of money that these two sisters never had. Oliver's body started rotting, that the sister started losing hope and thought she'd soon lose her. She was also taken to traditional doctors who believed this was a small case compared to what they had solved before. But that was another amount of money wasted as those traditional doctors made the condition even worse than it was. When we visited these girls last year, it was all about tears. They had tried their best in taking Oliver to hospitals but failed. Oliver was so ill that speaking was even difficult. We covered and published their story hence creating a GoFundMe campaign that requested her treatment. Many people after seeing how Oliver was almost dying, they contributed. And on our return, we brought hope and gave them funds gathered. It was not only money but also some foods and other hygiene materials so as to keep them going. <laughs> <laughs> Having seen money, Oliver was again taken to hospitals, and doctors did what they do better. On our second visit, we found them happy, and Oliver's healing process was promising. One could see that she almost died due to lack of enough money. She was no longer lying down but walking using a crutch. She was not fit but this was showing that it's a matter of days until she again walks on her feet. As a believer, all she says was that God loved her the most. Today we have good news. That's why we dance and celebrate. Oliver is now walking on her feet once again without crutches. This is the day we have been waiting for. We never knew when, but the first day we visited, we had hope that together we can help. And one day, we would all be happy seeing her walk once again on her feet. <laughs> She is happy that she can now walk again after eight years without walking and feeling too much pain. 
She recalls how she was during our first visit and says whoever that saw her during that time never thought she would make it. Many people wrote her off and thought it was just a matter of days until she goes to dust. But today she is here happy that God proved wrong those who never believed she would make it. For her to be walking like this is a miracle. She always had a dream of walking around in the streets, going to the market, buying some stuffs and doing other activities. She thought it was something impossible, but God made a way. She is now happy and grateful. She still goes to the hospital and does some physiotherapy and some checkup. Now, life is not the same as they would do everything to her, starting from feeding her, washing her, dressing her and a lot more. But now, she is doing it by herself, although she is not that strong to do all the activities like cooking, washing and many more. She knows that soon she'll be doing each and everything on her own. Knowing that she was rotting and helpless before we visited, she takes time thanking each and everyone who supported her since day one and appreciates all the efforts, love and care. If it was not your kind and caring heart, she would have even died. That's why she cannot forget the crucial role you played in saving her life. Since she still has to go to the hospital for checkup and physiotherapy so that she will fully be fit, she still needs support as it requires transport and other service that needs being paid. Plus the fact that she has no job, her and the sister. You can still contribute via the link phone in description and pin in top comments and change Oliver's life completely. Fiete is Oliver's sister. She has been by her side since day one. They shared all moments with the good and the bad ones like the sister's illness that could make her cry all day long, but she now has a million reasons to smile and celebrate. It was all on the sister's head, starting from finding what they would eat since they both could not work to feeding her, washing her, dressing and cleaning her. But today, it's a happy story. But she also cannot forget people who constantly showed them love and support. The whole Afrimax thanks whoever that has been part of the story, especially those of you who donated so that we would get Oliver's treatment and those who prayed. We thank you for your love. Without you, it was impossible to save Oliver's life. Hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. If we believe tomorrow will be better, we can bear a hardship today. Even in tragedy, God through his words offers hope for those who seek and believe. 
is called faith and it offers hope where none existed. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.